What's up gang, Case here with our at-home strength work for Monday, May 3rd. Three rounds today, 16 alternating dumbbell press, so two more than what we did last week. Our goal is to keep the same weight that we used last week, and we're bumping it up two reps per set this week. After that, we've got 12 bicep curls, and then finishing up with a new movement this week, eight bent knee plate lowering. On the alternating dumbbell press, remember on our stance, we wanna be hip width, toes facing straight forward. Before we go, lock out your quads so your knee's gonna be straight. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly, pull that chin back so that your neck is neutral with the rest of your spine. Keep that middle position locked in as you press overhead at the top. Reach as high as we can without flaring the ribs or arching the back. We wanna stay braced return back down to the start, and then press on the other side. So make sure that you return to the shoulder before you press with that other arm. 16 reps alternating, so you'll do eight each side. Oh, after that, we've got bicep curls. Hip width stance again. We do wanna be locked down through the middle so that our torso doesn't move. We're gonna go palms forward on these. Pull up to top, squeeze for a moment at the top, and when you get back down to the bottom, don't go all the way till the arms are relaxed. Come back down to where there's still some tension, back up to the top and squeeze, down to the bottom, back up to the top and squeeze. On both the curls and your alternating press, pick a load that when you get to that last rep, you'll have still a couple reps left in the tank. So we're not going to total burnout this week. Finishing up with bent knee plate lowering. This is taking our hollow body position and tying our arms into the equation. So when we set up, find that bent knee hollow position, knees together, toes together. Our head's gonna be on the ground for this movement. So you really have to think about pulling that waistband up towards your nose. Lock that position in, then you'll have a plate or a dumbbell over your sternum and then holding that low ab and hip position, we're gonna lower slowly until that plate taps, fire back to over the chest. So don't let that back arch out as we raise down, keeping that belly tight. Your hips should actually be up off the ground just a little bit throughout this movement. Slow and controlled on those, eight reps. Rest about 30 seconds in between each of your movements today, staying at the same weight across on your alternating presses and your bicep curls. Good luck on today's strength work, and we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.